we're not black. What you? What do you mean we're not African? You trying to confuse the people, brother? No, the confusion is coming from those who are holding on to things that should have been let go long time ago, or those things that we should have learned a lesson so so that we can move forward. To continue to call ourselves black, to continue to call ourselves African, that's a trap. See, I want to give you this as an example. At one time, all of us, even the racist pink people, at one time, all of us were sperm. At one time, all of us was a clot in our mother's womb. Yes or no? Raise your hand, those who, who disagree with that. Raise your hand. And some of y'all dumb enough to do it. I wasn't no clot in my mama womb. <laughs> well, where were you then? How you get here? We all evolved from sperm and an egg connection, the unification of sperm and egg. And then after nine months or whatever, then we come forth from our mother's womb. But see, we are no longer, the sperm and the egg is us. But we are no longer, we are billions and billions of cells Remove from the uh, from the cells that cause this life to come into being. So in America, are you with me? Do you hear what I'm? Do you understand? I'm trying to give us. I never try to be technical. I try to never to try to talk complex, in order to try to make myself look smart. I try to speak with us, and that's how Elijah Muhammad taught. Elijah Muhammad taught so good that myself, being a little boy, eight, nine years old, I was able to understand everything that Elijah Muhammad said. So, this ministry, I'm not going to try to get metaphysical on you. I'm not going to try to make things sound all complex and 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 bring and give you different types of chemical. Uh, chemical problems and whatever, try to be fancy because I could if I wanted to try to make myself sound all educated and intellectual. That's not what it's about. It's about to try to make everybody understand what's going on from the child to the adult. Not trying to hide anything from you. In fact, I want you to be better than me. Then I can buy your DVD. See, these people want you to buy their DVD and they want to be the source of your education and they don't care nothing about what's coming from out of you. But my intent is to give you information, cause you to think, so you can develop and become better than me. So, I, so then I can be like God and look at the earth and the creation and, say, and smile and say, uh, look what I made. It is good. But unlike God, I don't want you to be a servant. I don't want you to worship me. I don't want you to praise me. I just want you to, to be able to be happy and live your life in a state of reality where there is true justice and freedom and equality. Just live your life. Be happy. You don't have to run around praising trees and sun. Live your life and live a happy life. That's what we're looking for. Being a servant is not a happy life. Being a servant means your life benefits somebody else. After 400 years of slavery and this evil, don't you want to benefit? Want your life to benefit you? Don't you want to serve you for a change? You serve God. You serve Caucasian people. You serve other stupid Negroes. Any time that you serve yourself, 
Don't you want to serve yourself for a change? So we've been here for 400 years in a strange land among a strange people. We are 400 years removed, no connection at all from what we know of as Africa. No connection, period. You are no longer sperm. And you are no longer black. If you're a free man, why do you can keep calling yourself, I'm a black man? Black comes from out, out of pink white supremacy. If it wasn't for pink supremacy, we wouldn't call ourselves black. There was no reason to run around and talk about, I'm a black man. I'm a Caucasian man. I'm a brown man. I'm a red. That comes from up out of the trap. The tool used by racist pink supremacy. I come from the continent of Africa. I come all this divisionary stuff. It comes from up out of Caucasian supremacy. These was tools to divide the human family. Everywhere this Caucasian person went. They was treated as friends because most people would do other people like that. They were happy. They were not violent. Now, maybe they had conflict among their own. But when strangers come to your house, how you doing? Want a cup of coffee? That's how the world was until the Caucasian people came into the world and they exploited the trust of others. And so now nobody trusts nobody. You always got to keep your eye open. Nobody's word means nothing. At one time, you didn't need all this paperwork. My word is my bond. But with Caucasian people, you got to put your words on paper and sign it. And they still break it. The so-called American Indian had over a hundred treaties with the United States government and they only recognized one treaty. They broke all the others. Caucasian people, white men speak with forked tongue. Liars. So you're going to take the same philosophy and idea that came from up out of Caucasian supremacy. These people are liars. They are deceivers. And you're going to still embrace black. You're going to still embrace African, these things. Our people did not call themselves that. In fact, when you go to Africa, Africa, those dark people, they, they did not even consider themselves brothers. They were not brothers and sisters. This tribe was doing that. this. This tribe was doing that. Everybody was doing their own thing, just like black conscious is doing right now. Everybody is black this, black that, but you don't you do not see each other as brothers and sisters. You divide it. And as long as you divide it, you can be conquered. And that's why Africa continues to be exploited. That's why it continues to be conquered because they are not they don't view themselves as brothers and sisters. So what? I'm living on the same continent. So what? I'm doing my thing. So what? I'm a black man living in America. So what? We got common problem. You do your thing. I do my thing. Black was not designed to unify. Black was de designed to divide. And that's what we see right now. You teach things and you want the people to Return to something they never was. You want a full grown human being, biologically speaking, you are going, you are trying to attempt to take an adult, a full grown adult, and you want them to go back to being a sperm. Because that's what you were in the beginning. You can't do that if you wanted to. You can't. Nobody has ever been an adult and reversed the process and returned back to sperm and egg. But that's what you are trying and want black folks, the descendants of slaves born in America. That's what that's what you want us to do 
in this country. That sounds so insane. You can't return to being a sperm. And even if it was possible, it's called underdevelopment. When a sperm, when a person develops and they do not develop properly, physically, you are called handicapped. You're called a cripple. I don't know, I don't know what the word might be if you say these things politically correct. I'm not going to try to be politically correct. And if you don't develop, your physical body is like an adult, but you still behave like a child. They call that mental retardation. They don't like that term no more or that description. To be politically correct, I guess you would say you are mentally impaired. This is the state of the descendants of slaves born in America. We are crippled and we are mentally impaired. We are we are an underdeveloped people and we have black conscience, black liberation, all this black folks, black, black this and that, African this and that. You're taking the people backwards. You want them to be mentally impaired. You want us to be crippled. It's already bad enough that our enemies is taking uh, baseball bats and hitting us in the leg trying to keep us a cripple and you are helping them you your intent is good but what you don't understand is you're taking the people backwards because you need to take us out of this trap of racial supremacy not create your own version of racial supremacy I'm black supremacist black this black that that's their thing. That's not your thing. The original people of, of, of the African continent and around the earth, nobody trip off skin color. That's a racist trap. That's racist tool. We need to come up out of the trap. To, to stay in the trap will keep you mentally crippled. Keep you mentally impaired. And we see this in your actions. And that's why we still are in the horrid condition that we are in right now. Going backwards. You can't be a sperm again. You can't be somebody that no longer exists. I want to be a more. I want to be a Hebrew Israelite. I'm a this and that. These people no longer exist in our reality. And even if they did, you have no connection to them anymore. So that's why you have to fabricate something. You have to mimic and pretend like you are a part of them. Ain't no, ain't no black more taught y'all nothing. Ain't no black Hebrew Israelite taught you anything. Ain't nobody taught us nothing. None of these ancient people. Ain't no Egyptian taught you nothing. It's all fabrication. It's all guesswork. It's all trying to be somebody you've never been. There is no connection. You're 400, you, 400 years removed from any of, our, any of our ancestors. We have become a brand new, totally brand new people. And there's a reason for that. Black was created to divide by the racist. It was not designed to give descendants of slaves power. So when you look at those who talk about black power, so when you look at those who talk about black this and African this, Look at them. They are divided. And they are filled with self-hatred. They are filled with self-hatred because that's what black comes from out of. It comes from out of Caucasian supremacy. And the pink supremacists hate descendants of slaves.
slave hates dark skinned people. And so do the black power folks. Yes, you do. You, you hate your own people. Especially those who are not like you. I want everybody to be a Kevin. I want everybody to be a, a black Muslim. I want everybody to be a black Hebrew Israelite. I want everybody to be a black Moor. I want everybody to be like me. Because if you're not like me, then you ain't right. And if you're not like me, I hate you. That's the result of black supremacy. Because it's nothing but you nothing but copying. And if you look at what these black supremacists and all this black related stuff, the only thing that they do the same thing, basically what the racists do. Same mentality. The racist Caucasian people exploit their women. Put their naked booty all over the planet. They take their women, put them on strip poles and show their naked backside all over the planet. And that's what you see. Some black nationalist, black African, all this black supremacy stuff. They do the same thing to our women, our sisters. Same kind of stuff. You don't see that something is wrong with you. But you know something is wrong. You That's why you treat me the way you do. Because that's why you remain silent. That's why you don't want to deal with me. Because you know I see exactly who you are. Get behind me, Satan. I see the devil in you. I see that maybe in your heart, your intent might be good. But just because we had a, the right intent don't mean that that is that is right i'm telling you that some of the things that y'all do is wrong and you don't want to hear it so you sit in the cut and just be silent because you know you can't do nothing with this the word that's coming from this ministry you know it you don't want to get in no beef you don't want to go into a back and forth because i'll smash you and then the people will hear this word and you done. See, they know this. Y'all don't know this, but they know it. But you're going to have to deal with reality sooner or later. Elijah Muhammad said that the black man is the original man. The Asiatic black man. The maker, owner, God of the universe. Cream of the planet earth. God of the universe. Didn't, admit, didn't say nothing about just God of black folks. Didn't say God of Africa. The universe. This ministry is a threat to those who wish to go backwards. Those who seek to turn the descendants of slaves born in America, I'm a threat to those who want to who want to try to turn you and me into something we never was. They want to keep human beings enslaved in some sort of racist supremacy. I don't like pink supremacy, so I'm gonna make up my own. It's still racial supremacy based in some type of religious or spiritual dogma. They want you to continue to be slave. This ministry represents freedom, justice, and equality for all people, regardless to gender, regardless to so-called race. Think for yourself so you can discover who you are as an individual. Think for ourselves so we can discover who we are as a people. We are not black. We are not African. We are people who have been formed in the hell and the furnace of North America for a reason. We was disconnected from everybody for a reason. So they so that we can become the leaders of humanity and show humanity where to go and be the example of heaven on earth. 
it says in your scriptures that God will create a new heaven and a new earth. And we must allow the former things to pass away. Kemet, Egypt, Timbuktu, America. All these things that we embrace. Hebrew is a light teaching. Islam, all those things of the past. They are all the former things. You got to let them go. Let them pass. The symbols, the races, and what you call black conscience, it represents things that should be allowed to pass away. The God says in your religious scriptures, it said, Behold, I make all things new. Ain't nothing new about this stuff that they're teaching you. None of it. The human being has become sick. So the human being that has become sick due to racism, due to greed, envy, and lust, and all those different things, that human being must be destroyed. It must be made to go into the past. A new being must come into existence. And that new being, void of the mud of the past, we're sitting in a big mud hole. And the creation, or that which brought us into existence, is not going to allow you, who continue to carry on, carry the mud and the filth of this world, this filthy reality, not going to allow you to be and pass into something that is clean, new, and real. You might as well stay right here where you are with your filthy self. Ain't nobody going to clean up a new floor and allow you with your muddy shoes to come track up their new floor. It's not going to happen. So you can pray and you can salat and you can do all these religious rituals and you're going to stay right here where you at. Because you are of the old. You're not going nowhere new. But the new human being those who recognize who they are, accept their, their own, discover who they are, and accept themselves, you and I, we are the catalyst to bring forth and be an example of a new world order, the real new world order. Not more evil, not more wickedness, but true freedom, justice, and equality, void of any sign of the old. I'm going to say that again. Void of any sign of the old. And those who are new, we are more than black. We are more than to conquer Africa or some specific landmass. We are more than the earth. We are the conquerors of the universe. Because once we get all this filth and mud off of us, get all this unnecessary weight off of us, we can rise and we can jump to higher heights. And those heights are unlimitless. All that out there you need to know about. Instead of on the earth arguing and debating about my religion is better than your religion and all this nonsense that we debate about all the time. Look at, when you look into the sky, look, if, get, look, get yourself a telescope and look beyond the sky. All that is for our children and, and our babies to explore. In your religious teaching, God want to send you to heaven. There it is. But you can't get there because you're hell bound and you're a hell raiser. And devils live in hell. But your religious scriptures teach you that heaven can also be on the earth. But heaven is also beyond earth. It's out there. All that knowledge, all that. You don't have to try to pretend to be smart. We'll never know it all. But we can put our babies, our progeny in a position. They don't have to suffer this madness that we are suffering. In fact, we can become the greatest set, the greatest 
uh, human beings that have ever existed able to get all this filth and dust and, and murk and mire off us so our babies can do and go on to be what y'all call gods. Because gods rule all this. But you can't be God taking a bath in mud and mire. Thank you for listening. I hope that we can have a better uh, relationship. You don't have to. You don't have to be scared of me. I, I don't bite people. Or nothing or like that. We are all on the same team. We all want to try to be better in this life. Do this for the benefit of ourselves. Do this and think about it. Try the chocolate ice cream. You might like it. Who knows? But that don't mean we hate one another and dislike one another. Let us try as human beings come together, regardless to your race, gender, or whatever, so that we can be better human beings. Thank you for listening. Jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. This is your brother, Tony Even Ra. This was and is the Reality's Temple on Earth.